Today, we are at the Pratt Industrial Manufacturing Facility in Emporia, Kansas, and we are going to demonstrate how to assemble a Pratt Industrial Rubber Seated BF2 Series Butterfly Valve. To complete this process, you will need a sturdy workbench with a high quality vise. The vise jaws should have some kind of protection on them. Shop rags work quite well. Also, you will need a set of tools including a plastic mallet, a crescent wrench, metric T handles, and some open end standard wrenches. To assemble this butterfly valve, you will need the following parts. A valve body, bearings, a total of two, a seat, a disc, a top shaft, V packing for the top shaft, a washer for the top shaft, a cap for the top shaft, two countersink screws for the top cap, a bottom shaft, a wear shim for the bottom shaft, a rubber o-ring for the bottom cap, the bottom cap, and two socket head screws for the bottom cap. Let's begin. With the disassembled valve mounted securely in the vise, start by rolling the bearing for the bottom shaft. If possible, use a custom-made slotted T-handle tool to assist in this process. If you do not have a T-handled tool, you can roll this bearing on your finger and insert it into the body. Insert bearings into the bottom and top of the valve. Install the bottom shaft to seat the bearing. Install the top shaft to seat the top bearing. Use a crescent wrench on the flat part of the top shaft to assist in this process. Also, you now need to apply the appropriate lubricant to the valve. Install the seat using the process shown here, making sure to line up the holes in the seat with the holes in the body. Insert the disc into the valve, making sure the top and bottom shafts will fit into the proper ends. Tap bottom shaft into the disc with a plastic mallet. Insert the top shaft into the disc with the assistance of the crescent wrench, making sure the flat area on the shaft is oriented with the flat of the disc. Install the packing on the top shaft. Install the washer on the top shaft. Install the top cap on the top shaft and secure with the countersunk screws. Rotate the top shaft several times with the assistance of a crescent wrench. If you have not already done so, remove the socket head screw from the bottom shaft. Using multi-purpose appropriate grease, 
lubricate the bottom shaft and then install the wear shim. Install the O-ring onto the bottom cap. Install the bottom cap and secure using the two socket head screws with a T-handle. Apply appropriate lubricant to the seat. In this example, we are using silicone. Some facilities, however, require a silicone-free environment. Care should be taken. Rotate the top shaft several times with the assistance of a crescent wrench. Reposition the valve in the vise Check for alignment of the wordings on the disc, the seat, and the valve. Now your valve has been successfully assembled. If you have the optional handle assembly, please see the next video for assembly instructions.